Hello everyone, welcome to day 20th of April Leetro Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. My name is Sanchez Deja. I am working as software developer for at Adobe and today I present day 664 of daily Leetro Challenge. The question that we have in today is binary search tree iterator. Here in this question we need to define an iterator class which is BST iterator which supports three methods. The first one is a constructor of the class wherein the root of the binary tree is passed. The next one is has next. It returns whether there are more elements in the by BST or not. And the next method re simply returns the uh, next number in the iteration of a binary search tree. Pretty simple and straightforward to understand. Uh, no rocket science there. I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it. Why the presentation? So let's quickly hop onto it. Lead code 173 binary search tree iterator. It's a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. Also in case you have any doubt understanding this question or you want to ask anything in general from me, please feel free, free to ping on the discord server or the telegram group of coding decoded. Both the links are mentioned in the description below. Now let's get started with understanding the example. I have taken a slightly different tree to what was specified in the question. We have the elements as 7, 3, 2, 5, 15, 9, 20. And here we need to define two methods. One is has next, next, and the third one was the constructor of the binary search tree iterator class. The most naive approach that comes to everybody's mind is to iterate over this binary search tree into in order fashion. In by in order, I mean left, info, and right. Once we do that, we will store the entire tree in an array format. And uh, what will be the output of this? It will be two, three. 5, 7, 9, 15, 20. And once we have casted this into array format, what we can do, we can create a pointer. And uh, using this pointer, we can return the next value. Uh, so if next is invoked right now, we'll simply return true, uh, 2 and we'll increment the pointer to the next position. And for checking has next, we will check whether we have reached the terminal state of the array or not. If there are no more elements present, then we, we can say that uh, has next will return false otherwise it will keep on returning true so pretty simple and straightforward however the time complexity of this approach remains the order of n because you are iterating through the array uh, through the binary search tree only once however you are also consuming extra space for casting this entire tree into array format which again takes the complexity of order of n which we want to avoid can we do it in place the answer is yes how we will be using the iterative way of traversing over the binary search tree in an in order fashion. So this is a code that we use very often to traverse over the binary search tree in an in order fashion in an iterative manner not the recursive way and here we use stacks. So we will distribute this algorithm into three parts. The first one is the constructor part. We will be using the first two statements in the constructor the has next will correspond to this particular statement and the last one that we have next the code algorithm will lie as part of the next statement so let's walk through it how it is actually serving our purpose over here by an example so let's get started and what we are basically doing you will understand it while iterating through this entire tree so right now the root of the tree that is given to us is seven so in the constructor part uh, the current node will be initialized and the stack will be initialized so we have a stack that has been initialized and the current road right now points to 7 which is the root. Let's assume for a second that has, na has next function was invoked and what is the condition corresponding to has next? It is this one. If my I'll check whether my current node is not equal to null or my stack is not empty. What do we see here? We see that my current node is not equal to null as a result of which we can say that uh, I have more elements in my binary search tree present. Now let's proceed ahead. Let's assume that uh, next function was invoked and what is the core algorithm corresponding to this next function? It is this one. So what do we do? My current pointer points to 7. It is not null. I simply add that current pointer onto the stack. So 7 gets added onto the stack. Also I move towards the left direction. So what do I have any elements on my left side? It does, it, it does exist. So I simply go ahead and add this element to onto the stack. So current gets updated to 3. So current gets updated to 3. Now let's continue the process. Again we will check whether I have more elements as a left child of 3. It does exist which is 2. So let's update the current node to 2 and let's get that added onto the stack. So these 3 have been added. 
now let's again check whether there are more elements corresponding to the left side of 2 there are no more elements the current now points to null we get we abort from this loop and what do we do next we simply check the topmost element of the stack what is the topmost element of the stack it is 2 right now so what do we do we simply process a 2 and return its value outside to the result along with this don't forget to update the current pointer to next dot right what is next right now next is 2 the one that we popped out from the stack and uh, the right of 2 is null so current now points to null so let's update current to null and what have we returned from this iteration we have returned 2 which is in sync with our expectation the first element to be exited out of the next helper method should be 2 let's again continue the process and what do we see we see that the current happens to point to null as a result of which this while loop will not be executed and this 2 is already gone so again what we are going to do we will simply pull out elements from the stack so uh, 3 gets pulled out and uh, sim that simply means that 3 node will be returned as my next pointer along with pulling out 3 what we should do we should update our current pointer to 3 dot right what is 3 dot right 3 dot right is 5 so current now points to 5 so let's update it with this we have successfully returned 3 as an answer and our current node now points to 5 let's continue the process and uh, let's again assume that next function was involved so uh, what do we do we check whether my current is not equal to null it is not equal to null then in those cases i push my current node onto the stack so 3 is already gone from the previous iteration so 5 gets pushed onto the stack now stack has two elements 5 and 7 and again we make a move that current is equal to current dot next that simply makes a current point to null because uh, 5 dot next is null so current gets updated to null let's update it to null and uh, let's continue the process let's continue our algorithm what do we do we simply pull out elements from the stack 5 gets pu pulled out that means 5 will be returned as an answer along with this we update our current to next dot right which is 5 dot right so current again points to null and we simply return 5 as the answer so all these three elements have been visited and our current now points to null let's continue the process i am doing it for one more iteration and then you can proceed with further iterations uh, my current right now points to null again what is going to happen we'll pull out elements on the stack what is the current state of the stack the current state of the stack has only one element which is 7 so 7 gets pulled out 7 is gone and uh, along with pulling out 7 uh, what do we do we update our current node to 7 dot right so what is an element there current gets updated to 15 so c now points to 15 and we simply return 7 as a next iterator now let's continue further uh, let's assume that next was again invoked and current now points to 15 and my stack is empty so we'll push all, push all elements onto the stack till the time there are elements on the left side of current so we have 15 we have 9 so uh, 15 gets added onto the stack along with this 9 also gets added you can continue the process for these three elements and it's it's again exactly one of the f f same steps as i just talked here to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have just talked here so here is the code for it uh, here i've created one stack and one current node i have initialized it over here uh, my current points to root and my stack has been initialized to new stack as I talked in the presentation as well. My boolean has the same condition as I told in the PPT. My stack is not empty and my current is not null. If both these conditions, if either of these conditions are met, that means there are more elements in my binary search tree. Now comes the question, how are we going to write the next method? So again, it's exactly the same steps. My, if my, while my current is not empty, I put, keep on pushing my current onto the stack. Current gets updated to current.left. Once I'm done with this, I simply pull out elements from the stack. My current now points to t dot right, and we simply return uh, the value at t dot val. So let's try this up. Accepted. It is pretty fine. 35% uh, faster. 
and with this i would like to end today's session i hope you really enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye